Hey guys, so you would see stories like this all the time. Somebody's grandfather has this great collection, it's passed on to them. And that kind of got me thinking about my own story about this. So during COVID, I had a opportunity to purchase a massive collection. We're talking about a multi-million dollar collection. The story that was told was, hey, um, this guy was really wealthy, semi-famous. Um, he, someone he knew passed away, so he wasn't really interested in the game anymore, and he needed a little bit of money. And his uh, wife um, was the one mainly trying to sell. So his wife had a friend who was younger, and he was a big eBay seller of comics. So of course they went to him, and then just kind of dumped out his uh, magic cards to him. And that's where I got 200 dual lands, each of them for rough for $200 or less, including Underground Sea. I remember Underground Sea was 200. I think uh, the Volcanic Island was 190 at the time. Now conditions did vary. Some of them were very minty. Some of them were not minty. And I did sell a bunch of them to my friends from that particular collection. But I was always kind of buying, selling, buying, selling. And... It was a massive collection. It was probably the best collection that you will ever see in your life. How, but the prices were very fair. They were eBay minus fees. So they were literally, he would post the same items on eBay and then he would say, okay, this auction went for X. Um, I want X minus fees and then I want you to buy as much of, uh, as, it, as you can. Um, and that's what happened and that's how I built a massive collection over COVID was i mean this collection there was a few other collections uh my sealed collection they all came from rudy patreons so this was more of a single collection but i was very appreciative of having so many so many amazing cards um and access to them at a price point where at the time uh I, the economy was shut down gp or magic fest houston had been canceled or i know magic fest houston had not been canceled yet but as soon as I bought the cards, it was announced it was canceled a week again, a week ago, and then the, the price of the cards dropped. But that's kind of the, the risk you take, right? That's the risk you take. I mean, how can you uh, say otherwise? Now, this is a very interesting story because it harkens back to the Odin days where you could find this type of stuff in a flea market or in a garage sale because cards were not... 2020 was a big boom for cards, not just Magic cards, but Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! People were investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and obviously sports cards being the primary one. And everyone, you know, who is older now from 2020, they realize that these cards do have value. Uh, they do have cash value to them, and perhaps they should really investigate uh, their own collections and so on before posting them online. That's why when you see a post where, oh, hey, I found this. I, what is it worth, guys? Um, well, the, the box says um, Magic the Gathering, right? And then the box says Unlimited. And it's some type of deck or starter kit. Or it said starter deck on the back. So with a very little amount of research on your smartphone, right? The smartphone that you are using to take a picture of this exact image you could probably figure out that, you know, on eBay, you know, everyone knows about eBay, I would say most people. So you think Magic the Gathering Unlimited, and then you would look at the back starter deck. And those would be the keywords, some combination of those keywords, and you would immediately know this thing is worth about $30,000 sealed. So I think it's very difficult for people to get um, a great deal, like the great deals where back in the past, and again, how many of these stories are really made up? Who knows? Uh, I remember at Magic the Gathering Online Trading League, there was a story about this guy who went to a garage sale and he bought out this um, grandmother's collection. It was because uh, her son had died. His Her son had been an avid magic collector and he went to Iraq and had passed away. And he had actually just paid the grandmother like $50 for over 50,000, at the time, $50,000 a card. So I remember that. 
and the debate was really oh well you know he's a veteran should you give your mom more should you give her, her more money should you go back and there was a big debate and then the guy just never responded kind of like this there was a huge debate of the and ethics about doing that you know and the whole um back back then we had pack to lotus pokemon they still doing that today but it was like a trade-up challenge where the idea and it was very popular the idea was you open a boost pack you trade the contents into a black lotus which means obviously you're gaining significant amounts of value throughout the trading period um people did not really have access to cell phones like in terms of like data plans like your data was very very limited and if you were at a convention i, I remember being um, in law school at the Richmond Convention Center and like it didn't work even if you had data it just simply doesn't work you don't get a signal so you had to kind of like guesstimate um, and then that was a whole what do you value at but today with today's technology and um, you know again it would take very in my opinion not all that long to to figure this out right i mean the keywords are literally in the 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 deck right i mean i don't really know um how <laughs> uh, you can you can say it. it's literally in the the deck right so um pretty fascinating uh definitely something that i would recommend like if you do have cards no reason right no reason to post it online um if you do have cards um no reason to no no reason to do it uh in my opinion uh because you're probably just going to get lowballed there's probably going to be a lot of scammers and you can easily find the information yourself because it, the, I mean, it's literally pasted on the box that you're trying to think. And even the card name, it's literally on the thing, right? Now, may, maybe if you're talking about, like, different additions, like, you know, hey, can I, what's the difference between a Black Lotus or a Underground Sea Revised and Underground Sea Unlimited? Yeah, that could be quite confusing. Or Alpha or Beta, right? And that could be a big difference. I can understand that confusion, but as to, like, how much this is worth, I mean, the keywords are literally on the um on the box so i think it's interesting um it, it's probably one of the more recent i i i truly don't believe this type of stuff will be all that common in the future just because there's so much of um you know everyone knows what this stuff is worth uh, especially after 2020 when this stuff became super super popular You'd have to be living in a cave not to know what it is worth, right? Bye, <laughs> guys.